Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. So, as you guys may or may not know, Bitcoin is a thing that's pretty much skyrocketing in profit, as well as other things like Ethereum and other sort of virtual cryptocurrencies. I'm not going to go into details about how you can mine all of those or anything else. I'm just going to show you guys exactly how you can mine it at home and how much I earn using a 1080 and 1080 Ti from MSI. So there are hundreds of thousands of different ways of earning Bitcoin, selling, trading, buying. But the easiest way by far is mining because you don't need anything. You just need a Bitcoin wallet and the mining software. So there's thousands of different mining softwares available. But I'm going to show you guys how to use probably the easiest one that I've found from experience. Nighthash. So NiceHash is a Bitcoin miner that automatically switches its mining algorithm depending on which one is the most profitable for your hardware at that moment. It updates probably about every minute or so. I'm not exactly sure, but you can go ahead and change that in the software if you want. So basically, when your graphics card and everything is done benchmarking, it'll automatically switch between the algorithms depending on which one is most profitable for your PC at that moment. So you're probably wondering how you get started. So first of all, you're going to need NiceHash Miner. Open up your browser and go to new.nicehash.com Link in the description down below. And then when you're there, you'll see sell and buy. Go ahead and hit learn more under sell. I want to earn with my CPU or GPU and go ahead and hit download. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and click open file. I hit I agree. And now NiceHash should be installed on your PC. Go ahead and hit finish. And you'll notice that NiceHash is now starting up. Now, I already have mine configured, but what you're going to need from here is a Bitcoin wallet. So there's many different Bitcoin wallets, even one that NiceHash offers, but the one that I'm using right now is called Exodus. Go ahead and head across to exodus.io or the link in the description, and then you'll land on this page. Go ahead and hit download, Windows 64 bit if you're using Windows, obviously, and then download the file and install it. So, why exactly do I choose Exodus over the default Bitcoin wallet and all of these things for Android? Well, first of all, you hold your private key, so if you log into a website with, let's say, your Gmail account, then they hold the private key, and if they get hacked, there goes all your Bitcoins. Also, I like Exodus because they have support for other cryptocurrencies and an exchanging portal built inside of the program. So when I go ahead and start up Exodus, you can see that I've run it before because I have a password. Once you see it running, you'll see it start up with something like this. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to Bitcoin, receive, and then copy this Bitcoin address right over here. Now that we're done with that, we can go back to NiceHash, click on wallet, and paste your address in here. Don't worry, when you get your first payment or make a payment using the Bitcoin wallet, your wallet address does change, but that's because of the way that the blockchain is created. Don't worry about your wallet changing, the older ones will still work and they are still linked to your account. Once that's done, go ahead and click on Configure. System, if you're using an NVIDIA card, I recommend you have this on. And then go back, go to Hardware Details, and just go ahead and hit Benchmark All. Now, something that happened for me is that my antivirus picked up the CPU mining software as a virus and deleted it, but that's fine. I didn't plan on mining with my CPU at all anyway. If you're going to mine, you're going to need a GPU because that is the most profitable way of earning money through NiceHash. So, you'll see that all of these will be completed. I recommend using the standard test. Quick will give you inaccurate results, and if you have a lot of time on your hands, go ahead and click on precise. Once that's done, you literally hit start, and that's it. You're now mining Bitcoin. So, let's see how much I earn a day using a GTX 1080 and 1080 Ti. Keep in mind, I am recording right now, so it will be a little bit less. So in order to see how much I earn exactly, I'm going to have to pause the recording, but I will have a screenshot on screen of what it looks like. So as you guys can see, I was running at about seven to eight dollars a day. Now this is using a GTX 1080 and GTX 1080 Ti. So the graphics card that you use inside of your PC will be a little bit different. If you're mining using AMD, I have absolutely no idea how much you'll earn, but it will probably be somewhere similar. So what you'll earn won't be exactly massive over the few days that you run it. So if you're running it on a PC that only earns $3 a day, in 10 days you'll be earning about $30 and in a day $90. Now that's already massive. If you're running a rig like me, running at about 7 to 10 per day, let's say I earn 10 a day, that'll be $100 in 10 days and in a month that will be $300. So you can see that that is absolutely massive and it's really good. 
So if you guys would like to be interested in this, there are links in the description down below. But a word of caution quickly. If you are running using a compact case or something that is designed to save space and has not got a lot of airflow in it, your graphics cards may suffer from overheating and thermal throttling. If you'd like to prevent this, you can either take off the side panel of your case if it's not cooling enough, install new fans, or go ahead and download overclocking software much like MSI Afterburner. Once you've downloaded and installed software, you're going to want to go into settings somehow, fan, and then change the fan curve to make sure that your fan runs at 100% below about 60 and 70 degrees. Anything above that, it should be 100%. Anything below that, you can customize the graph as you'd like. So obviously, this will go ahead and put a lot of stress on the fans, but they do last a very long time nonetheless. It also creates a lot of noise, so if you guys would like to record or play games or talk to people, make sure that you go ahead and close the overclocking software as well as your Bitcoin miner if you're not going to use it. Now, another word is that your PC is going to struggle when you're mining Bitcoin. So if you're not going to use it, that's a perfect time to mine Bitcoin, whether you're going away to have lunch or you're going to bed, that's when you should mine Bitcoin. You can mine it all day, but just a warning, your PC will be much slower and not really usable within games and 3D environments. So yeah, anyway, I wish you guys luck in your Bitcoin mining adventures. This is just one of the ways of mining Bitcoins and one of the wallets. Go ahead and do your own research to see what you'd like. I just find this to be the easiest and most efficient way that I've discovered so far. Thank you all for watching. My name has been Technoba, and I wish you luck in your mining adventures.